YouTube, what's going on, guys? So coming back at you from the hotel again. Uh, I'm still out here in New York, so I apologize for the setup. I don't have my tripod, nor do I have my, uh, my you know, everyone's channel stickers that are, um, I usually have put out. I didn't bring them with me, so I apologize, guys, for, uh, for that. Doing the best I can, and I'm working with what I can right now while I'm out on the road. But I have uh, a couple great knives that were sent to me from a great guy. He has his channel name, Jersey Knife Guy. Uh, me and Jersey have known each other now for a, for a, quite a while, and he's just a fantastic guy. He just hit 2,000 subscribers. He has great content. If you guys aren't familiar with him, which I'm sure a lot of you are, go over and subscribe to him. Check out his channel. Check out his videos. He has This guy has an amazing, amazing collection of knives. I mean, if, if you want to see a knife, he most likely has it. I, I, can, I can really say that. And and mean it. Um, he has so so many blades. I think he said he's been collecting for like twenty years. Um, <clears throat> so if you guys want to see a knife, uh, head over to his channel, Jersey Knife Guy. Subscribe to him. And like I said, if you guys want to see a blade, he more than likely has it. And if he doesn't, he has one that's just like it. Uh, he's even mentioned that in his own in his own video. But uh, yeah, I want to say thank you to Jersey for sending these knives my way. That was more than generous, Jersey. And um, I greatly appreciate it. As I always say, people in this knife community are just fantastic, fantastic people. This is the best community on YouTube by far. And uh, I really mean that. You know, gestures like this, sending knives, um, it's just, what do I say? You know, it's just what a what a what a gesture, what a kind act, and um, it goes a long way. And I think it's something this this community has, and you know, we're really about that, which sets this community far apart from other um, other YouTube, you know, communities or however you want to say it. But yeah, let's dive right in, guys. <clears throat> we have the uh, the case Sodbuster Junior. Sod Sodbuster Junior. Uh, this is um, in in the red synthetic. This is the um, the all American. So this is the all American red synthetic Sawbuster Junior four seventeen carbon steel. Um, you can see all that on the on the uh, package. And and by the way, I love I love cases packaging uh, the boxes. I really do. Uh, I think they do a good job with it. Uh, with this and the other, they have other types as well. But you can see the carbon steel right there on the side. Made in the USA. Um, yeah, just a great company that's been around forever. And, um, you know, continuing to do, you know, continuing and doing great things. Especially with this knife here. I call this knife, I have one in the yellow synthetic. Uh, the same knife with the yellow synthetic. And I, I, I bring this knife with me to work every day as my secondary. And um, I call this knife the little big, uh, the little big knife. Reason why is I'm gonna close this blade for a minute. Uh, the reason why is because if it's you know it's not a big it's not a big knife, guys. Um, the close the length on this is uh, three and three quarters, so you know almost four inches, not quite, um, but it can get the job done. This knife has been around forever, um, forever and ever, you know, and and guys have carried this to work and got the job done with it for for ages. Um, also has the blade shape where you can skin with it. Just a just really a um, a great knife. Sorry, I had my finger in the way there. Again, guys, I'm I'm not set up for this, but I'm doing my best the best that I can. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look at it. You know, all of this right here is I love the way it's just so smooth. You can't feel these pins at all. Um, very very smooth. I love the color. I did not have this in red before. Um, just, I wish the lighting was here, here was a little bit better, but love the color of it. Everything here is smooth. If you look at the spring, there is no gapping in that spring at all. Um, just a nicely, nicely done piece. I'm going to try to open this up one hand, which is probably going to be almost impossible to do, but see if I can get it open. I might have to do it off camera just to, uh, there we go. <clears throat> There's that blade, and as you can see, it has that upswept in the blade there, and that's for skinning. But obviously, this blade can be used for many, many other things. Your, your EDC tasks, everyday tasks, this knife can do it. Um, I bring this knife, like I said, 
one the same exact knife just in a different color to work with me all the time and it gets it gets the job it really does it gets it done and as i have said guys have been carrying this knife forever and ever um but yeah i just want to say thank you jersey there's not a lot i can say about this knife that you guys do not already know um you know made in the usa this one is carbon steel for um 417 um but yeah, the close length on this, like I said, was three and three quarters. For the cutting length of the blade, for what you get for a cutting length, is gonna be two and a half inches. Um, and you can see there, it's uh, USA 4137, uh, carbon steel, and then it has the case XX where you can uh, figure out the date of the knife. But just a fantastic knife. And Jersey, thank you so much for sending that my way. Um, fantastic knife. I'm going to use this. I'm going to get that Tina going on it. You know, I, I call it the Tina. And uh, I can't wait to put this to use. Now, if we jump over here to this other knife that he sent me, the jersey sent me. <clears throat> this is the Rough Rider Canoe. Um, I, I really love what Rough Rider is doing right now. Rough Rider is making some quality, quality pieces, guys. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have... Um, have noticed that a lot of you guys own um, Rough Riders. Just taking a drink here, but a lot of you guys own Rough Riders, and you can see the um, the quality of their knives. I mean, for the for the money that they cost, you are getting some quality quality pieces. Um, so yeah, I mean, this here, this is the um, what is this one? Uh, let me see if I have this Rough Rider Canoe model number RR. 048 just a beautiful beautiful piece look at the bone on that and i'll try to get this in the light just a beautiful bone on that knife get both uh both sides here for you guys to see if you guys want to pick this knife up i would highly suggest it um the fit and finish the uh the bone everything on this knife is just you know really really nice I'm loving that bone. You know, I actually didn't own, I didn't own a canoe um, prior to this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is my first canoe that uh, that that I own, and um, I, I'm loving it. So again, Jersey, thank you so much for this. Um, let's let's jump into it though. But there's that beautiful bone. You have the shield right there on the front with the. Um, just a beautiful, like I said, beautiful bone behind it. Um, you have your bolsters there. Everything was smooth transitions. Very smooth transitions from the bolsters going into that bone. You know, nothing sticking out. There's absolutely no gapping at all in that spring there. And this is a, uh, a double spring. So, you know, just very well done. And as I said, no gappage at all in that spring. If we open this up, you're gonna look at the uh, the main the main blade, which is a uh, spare point. I gotta do this off camera, guys, just because I'm trying to do this with one hand. Just give me a minute, bear with me. Um, sorry. Give me one minute, guys. I apologize. A lot harder to do with one hand than it looks. There it is there, but you have that beautiful, beautiful spare point blade. I just got my fingerprints on it now. Um, but just a beautiful blade on this. Um, this this is coming in at, uh, for the for the cutting length is two and a quarter. So you're getting two and a quarter inches there to cut with. And you know, that's, you can get work done with that. I'm one of those guys that always say, you do not need this huge knife to get work done. Um, something like this is something like, you know, men used years and years ago um with blade lengths this size and even smaller and uh you can get the work done guys you really can um but just a beautiful i love that spare point blade and look how that whole knife look at how that whole knife looks um with the handle and the blade just a beautiful piece you get a nice grip on this too a really nice grip on this knife um i'm really liking it Back side of it here. Just a beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful knife. The weight on this knife is 2.65 ounces. Uh, as I said, the cutting length is um, 
the uh, the cutting length was two and a quarter on this. Yeah, let's head over to the um, to the pen blade. This is going to be a uh, quite an obstacle. Let's see if I can get this pen blade out. Just bear with me. Wow, guys, I'm having a rough time over here again. As I said, I'm in a hotel. <laughs> And I don't have, let me put you guys down for one second. I'm sorry, bear with me. I'm so sorry about that, guys. This is not the way my videos usually go um, at all, but I'm doing the best I can right now. And I wanted to get this video out there. So here's the pen blade on this. This pen blade is uh, has a cutting length of one and three quarter inches. Um, and you, guys, you can get work done with that blade as well. You can absolutely get work done with that blade as well. Um, I actually like this pen blade because it is of a reasonable size where you can, you know, you, like I said, just get work done. And I love the way that this knife looks. I mean, guys, look at that. Just a, a great looking knife all around when it's open, when it's closed. And as I said, the transitions uh, going here from the bone to the bolsters, just you, really very, very smooth. So there it is, guys. That's the Rough Rider in the uh, case Sodbuster Jr. I'm going to close this back up here. Again, guys, I apologize for the quality of this video. This is not up to my standards at all, but um, I'm doing the best that I can. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I really do appreciate it. Two great knives from Jersey Knife Guy that I, uh, I'll cherish. I'm going to obviously will stay with me. If you guys don't know about Jersey... Check him out, Jersey Knife Guy. He has fantastic a fantastic channel with all the knives. I mean, guys, you'd have to head over there to uh, to really take that in and, and see what he has going on. So again, Jersey, thank you so much, brother. Me and you've been talking back and forth. I appreciate you. Check out his channel. Thank you again, Jersey. Um, I just want to end this with saying, you know, guys, thank you for all of your support. Um, to, you know, things like this of this nature where you have people sending knives. Um, it's just such kind gestures. And um, it really, it, it just goes a long way. And that's what puts this community, you know, far apart from the rest. Again, Jersey, thank you so much. Guys, Happy Hour Live Chat is uh, every Saturday night. Me, myself, Big J uh, from Big J's Knives. If you don't know Big J's Knives, check out his channel. Subscribe to his channel. His name is uh, Big J's Knives. Really good content coming from him. Uh, we talk all the time, but we do a happy hour live chat every Saturday night at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central Time, and we have an absolute ball over there. Join us on that if you can. I'm not going to keep you guys too much longer. Just wanted to show these knives and say thank you to Jersey. Guys, please like the video if you like it. Helps with the algorithm of YouTube. Comment. I love seeing your comments. And uh, please do subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Take care.